Good evening. Well, at the end of another very busy World Cup day, I know it's three o'clock in the morning and nobody's watching, but still, I'm delighted to be uh, joined by the great Osvaldo Ardiles. Uh, good evening, Ozzy. Mm. Ozzy, um, it must be, uh, like for, for me certainly, it's a, it's a huge thrill to have you uh, in the studio. You're the only World Cup winner that's ever been in the studio. What was it actually like to win the World Cup? I mean, it must have been amazing, was it? It's a long time ago now, but my memories of it are very strong and um, I'm very uh, delighted to recall it when asked to recall it. Yeah, and I mean, you know, going back to those days, 1978, it's obviously some difficulties, I suppose, between the country that you ended up playing in, uh, England. Can you tell us a bit about that and how what it was like going to Spurs? Because I mean, it must have been a bit tricky, was it? Well, no, it was because they were coming to the ham, it was in England, so I had to fly and walk up. It was many times, so I had to worry about it in in Tottenham. Uh, it was a little tricky at the beginning, but after a while I got used to it, and same as any culture. If you go anywhere at all in the world, then it's going to find it difficult. It's just a culture clash is totally different, but I mean, eventually you get used to it, no matter what you're doing, even if it's not even football. Okay, um, bringing it back up to date, you know, 2010, I mean, let's face it, we're uh, here to talk about the 2010 World Cup. And I mean, like, do you think the winner is going to emerge from the Southern American team, or maybe, you know, a team from Europe, or where do you think the winner is going to come from, Ozzy? Yeah, I think you are going to win the team that are in front of the wall. So you could be another team with you. So you know, maybe you can be because they're going to be the big one. So I think you have a chance. You know, the Argentinians have a position in the front. I mean, I think it's a good thing for the time. Well, I think everybody has an opportunity to win the World Cup. You got Spain, you got a lot of countries in there from the South Americans. There's as much a chance as anybody else. You got to have the Olympics with all of those teams. And there's Spain and Brazil and Argentina. But I think that's it. And the love of the gods. OK, and, and just to get, it, I suppose, a flavour of how you feel where Irish football is going, I mean, do you think this World Cup has missed Ireland a lot? Because a lot of people were saying, you know, that if Ireland had got into the World Cup, they might have actually done very well. I mean, do you think there's any truth in that, or do you think that's just a lot of old guff? Well, you can say how it's the only one I play in the World Cup. It's a terrorist, a hamon, so it's very difficult for Ireland to watch it. But I think it's a young man, and 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 it's a young man. I don't know much about Irish football, really. Great. Well, uh, that's all we've got time for for this evening's programme. And if you're still awake, good night.